Okay, you guys, another video of tonight, a, a many videos that I have done concerning uh, tornadoes, but this particular one um, of a prophecy that was put up, the title was Year of Dreadful and Deadly Tornadoes, Louisiana, Southern States, and USA deadly tornadoes and it has turned up to be just that I mean from the deep south on out Atlanta Alabama Mississippi Louisiana um, and I know there are some states that I uh, uh, Florida didn't mention that has been experiencing these deadly tornadoes but um, this is definitely a fulfilling fulfillment you guys but I'm just gonna tell you I hate to be the bearer of bad news but I gotta give it like I see it and tell it like it is this is the ninth hour of judgment and these things are it's just not gonna be a good year as far as storms that's why it's so important that we pray continually cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus I know it's a lot going on um, each and every minute hour I mean just like in my past dream that I told you about you guys about in that dream there was planes falling I heard today there was uh, a small plane that fell I forget where killing six people and you know it's something going on the Sri Lanka uh, church bombings, explosions here, fires there, planes falling, tornadoes, flooding, it's stuff everywhere. The, the, the people having sex with animals and demonic possession, it's stuff everywhere. Everywhere. This is a dark hour. I mean, there are people profiling all over YouTube I mean just not really discerning their dreams talking about this coming three days of darkness honey the darkness is already here it's a spiritual we wrestle not with flesh and blood but with spiritual wickedness rulers of darkness and principalities and high places and I paraphrase that scripture but it's darkness everywhere why because in the ninth hour when Jesus the Christ died darkness descended up on the earth darkness if Jesus Christ getting ready to come back he determines the end from the beginning darkness has to be up on the earth the light of the world left when he gave his life on the cross for us. The light of the world is coming back in a world of darkness to put to shame the darkness. So um, I wouldn't even plan on saying that any of that, but th there, there it is. It's, it's, it's a sad situation. I just feel, I, I, I pray for you guys. I pray for those guys that are in darkness themselves and believing in the lie. And it's a fulfilling fulfillment of Second Thessalonians chapter 2. They are given over to a strong delusion. And they're believing in the lie because why? They forsake the love of the truth. They didn't hope. Oh, my God, you guys, don't miss the coming video this week about um, uh, what I'm going to put out about Satan's children and how they look like you and I, but they didn't stay with us. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Remember, I told you it was going to be a coming video about, I mean, it's scarier than a scary movie type thing. And to know that there, you know, there's some people that are not of us. The Bible says there's anti-Christ, anti-Christ.
Not the Antichrist, Antichrist. There are people that are Antichrist. You know, they don't want to believe in the truth because they want to, they didn't, they, these people didn't abide in the truth. They forsake the truth. I'm going to leave that alone. But, uh, I want to show you guys, this news title says USA Today weather forecast, um, at least three dead as severe storms target deep south USA today. Um, it says weather forecast, the storms, let's see, hits up the deep south more than 100,000 without power. Let me um, show this to you. Let's see, are we going to get... A volatile weather pattern may affect several southern states this weekend. The National Weather Service released a statement and sent out this tweet saying, quote, major severe weather outbreak like today from eastern Texas to the lower Mississippi Valley region. Threats include damaging winds, very large hail, flash flooding, and long track violent tornadoes. The storm could potentially hit Georgia on Sunday afternoon, where the Masters Golf Tournament is currently taking place. An AccuWeather senior meteorologist said that on Sunday, the storm may cause, quote, frequent lightning strikes, torrential downpours, and strong wind gusts. According to Alabama.com, the NOAA Storm Prediction Center has placed more than half of the state under a severe weather risk through Sunday morning. The National Weather Service warned that this is a dangerous situation and residents should not take it lightly. On Saturday, the severe weather will reportedly stretch from Dallas to Birmingham, Alabama. Experts say potentially deadly and destructive tornadoes are most likely to occur on Saturday afternoon and evening. AccuWeather notes that the storms are expected to lose their intensity as they head towards the Atlantic coast later Sunday night to Monday. So did y'all hear her say deadly tornadoes? Deadly tornadoes. And this is exactly what was given to me. Deadly tornadoes. And it said across the south. And, um, I mean, it says storm threats are set to hit many southern states. This, uh, that particular weekend, and this that was April 19th at 9.03 a.m. You hear those nines? Uh, violent tornadoes, large hail, flooding, the whole nine yards. I will attach this video under there, but uh, God is speaking in this hour. The question is, are we listening? Are we paying attention? Because the, the, there are things that is happening every where everywhere 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 um anyway um you guys cover yourselves in the blood of jesus i love you see you next video thanks